TJ, Adamstown GA Club has gone through plenty of change and improvement over the last number of years. You might just give us an overview of the stuff that's been done. Well, Peter, um, in 2016 we launched a fairly ambitious uh, four-phase development plan uh, to buy our own ground and put a pitch on it, which we have here this evening. Uh, phase two was uh, an Astro, fully lit Astro, which we completed in uh, 2020. And in this year, we got phase three up and running just a few weeks ago with uh, fully lit uh, pitch. So we've three phases done. Phase four is the big one, I suppose, the clubhouse. And that might have to wait a bit, but we have plans in train for that as well. And uh, can you let us <laughs> in on the secret of what's going to be in? Is there anything going to be wild or wonderful in it? Or no, just no, no. We're actually looking at our phase development. Obviously, costs are just exorbitant. So we're looking at our phase development. And uh, we're looking at kind of a three-phase development in terms of two dress rooms, uh, a bit of a storeroom, and obviously toilets, and then another same again in a couple of years time and then finish out with a kitchen and a meat room things like that so it's the only way we think we can do it uh, financially and obviously the, with the cost of building now um, I think it's the only thing that we can do because we've been very well supported uh, from the community since we started 2016 we've actually spent 700,000 on what we've done and we actually have no debt which I think is a testament to uh, the generosity of our community our sponsors and the whole of Wexford because we had a car drive uh, car raffle in 2016 and we sold tickets from Hookhead right up to uh, Carnew and out as far as uh, Mulnavat and we were really well received and that made a, a huge amount of money for us so uh, nearly 135,000 I think and that was a real catalyst to, to all this and uh, we've been well supported with Leinster, with Leinster Council and with Sports Capital Grants as well we've been very fortunate so uh, overall we've been very lucky but we've put a lot of hard work into all this development and as I said you know we've been very good and looking with the community here support but also we've had a great committee over the last decade and great leadership along the way and as I said a committee to support it because uh, no one person can run a club and you need many people to do many different things and fortunately we have that here in Adamstown. And you can have all the facilities and the best of facilities but the, the players are the all important thing and the players at adult level seem to be going quite well in the football this year. How's the underage? Yeah. The underage, yeah, yeah look um, we're one of the fortunate clubs, our numbers are good you know and uh, we won a minor uh, with the boys and the girls this year uh, which was nice because obviously they're the next tranche of coming through. Uh, our ladies as well won the league a couple of weeks ago again, Tony, which was uh, a nice boost for them. Uh, underage then we've had it, got the 13s and 15s are two good bunch of groups uh, getting to semi-finals and finals uh, in their divisions. So, uh, and as you can see out there tonight, you know, there's lots of youngsters under 7s and under 9s. So, you know, the future is bright for Adamstown, as I said. It's just, I suppose, uh, it's great to see that the men are inspiring, the ladies are inspiring the youngsters now and I think that hopefully will uh, all bodes well for the future.